For any function of x, fx, we can calculate the radius of curvature at any point x if we use the definition of arc length, ds equal to rho times d theta. The small arc length ds, which is the small arc around any point along the function fx, could be calculated by using Pythagoras. It would be the square root of dx squared plus dy squared. From this, we can factor out a dx from both terms. For d theta, we would first start by defining theta as a function of the slope of the curve m for the point we're trying to calculate the radius of curvature for. From basic geometry, specifically complementary angles and alternate interior angles, we see that the tangent of angle theta is equal to dy dx. If we take the derivative of this expression with respect to x, on the left side we'd see the derivative of tangent of theta with respect to theta, which is 1 plus tangent squared, times the derivative of theta with respect to x. On the right hand side we'd just see the second derivative of y with respect to x. The tangent squared on the left hand side can be substituted by dx dy squared, and we can now solve for d theta. Substituting ds and d theta in the arc length expression, we can solve for the radius of curvature rho which yields 1 plus dy dx squared all to the power of 3 over 2 over d squared y over dx squared. Or in a simplified version, 1 plus y prime squared all to the 3 over 2 over y double prime. Thanks for watching.